Once we measure the zone of inhibition and compare it against the set threshold for resistance or sensitivity, this begs the question. Who decided these thresholds? It takes a lot more work than three repeats to figure this out. At least thousands of repeats in labs all across the world using the same reference strains of microbes were needed to establish these guidelines. This isn't work that a single scientist can do, and it is organizations like UCAS that generate guidelines that are regularly updated to be able to identify the next wave of resistant superbugs.